If Christ is power, why did he not save himself? If the swallows wish to be my friends, they must remember that in this land, there is only one Kosi Amakosi, only one king of kings. Shall we also pray to the new Roman God, to the new Roman God, Roman God, Christ Jesus, perhaps he can lift our affliction. Exactly, so you have it. We're sure you. Israel is in Africa. Israel is in North East Africa. So everybody that born in that region was dark skinned people. So just like when you see the white man now in South Africa, he's in Zimbabwe, he's in the Americas, this is our common taking over Africa. And now we give you what? He's God, man. So you have to take that down out the shop, man. You know better because you read it. You know better. You see better, man. Yeah, man. Hallelujah, man. That's Satan, man. Take it down, man. You understand me? Yeah, man. Take him out the shop, man. That's Satan, man. That oppressed us as a nation of people for generation, man. That oppressed us, man. Oh, man. You, read you understand me? You read it here when it tell you the civilization of Egypt and Israel and Jordan were dark-skinned people. So who is it? What do you think they're fighting in the land of Israel so much, man? Yeah, man. Take that out the shop, man. This I went into Egypt looking like an immortal man, like to all, and the offspring of him that was first made of the earth. Dot. And in my mother's womb was fashioned to be flesh in the time of ten months, being compacted in blood, of the seed of man, and the pleasure that came with sleep. And when I was born, I drew in the common air, and fell upon the earth, which is of like nature. And the first voice which I uttered was crying, as all others do. I was nursed in swaddling clothes, and that with cares. For there is no king that had any other beginning of birth. For all men have one entrance into life, and the light going out. Of Solomon chapter 7, kills the virgin birth fantasy. All kings and men on earth had a birth. Jesus and the virgin birth story is a lie. This is why they removed the Apocrypha, the New Testament and Jesus was created to keep us in idolatry. God himself is the Savior and he alone. 44. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen, Lord that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee, O Jacob, my servant, and thou, Jeshurun, whom I have chosen, for I will pour water upon him that is thirsty, and floods upon the dry ground. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed, and my blessing upon thine offspring, and they shall spring up as among the grass, as willows by the water courses. Hey, I am the Lord's, and another shall call himself by the name of Jacob, and another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord, and surname himself by the name of Israel. Thus saith the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first, and I am the last, and beside me there is no God. And who is I shall call, and shall declare it, and set it in order for me? since I appointed the ancient people and the things that are coming and shall come, let them show unto them. Fear ye not, neither be afraid. Have not I told thee from that time and have declared it? Ye are even my witnesses. Is there a God beside me? Yea, there is no God. I know not any. They that make a graven image are all of them vanity, and their delectable things shall not profit. And they are their own witnesses, they see not nor know, that they may be ashamed. Who hath formed a god, or molten a graven image, that is profitable for nothing? Behold, all his fellows shall be ashamed, and the workmen they are of men. Jeremiah 30 It came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Thus speaketh the Lord God of Israel, saying, Write thee all the words that I have spoken unto thee in a book. For lo, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will bring again the captivity of my people Israel and Judah, saith the Lord, and I will cause them to return to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall possess it. And these are the words that the Lord spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. For thus saith the Lord, 
voice of trembling of fear and not of peace. Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail, and all faces are turned into paleness? Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. The time of Jacob's trouble saved out of it. For it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck, and will burst thy bonds, and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. But they shall serve the Lord their God, and David their king, whom I will raise up unto them. Therefore fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, saith the Lord, neither be dismayed, O Israel, for lo, I will save thee from afar, and thy seed from the land of their captivity. And Jacob shall return, and shall be in rest, and be quiet, and none shall make him afraid. For I am with thee, saith the Lord, to save thee. Though I make a full end of all nations whither I have scattered thee, yet will I not make a full end of thee. But I will correct thee in measure. And say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathen, whither they be gone, and will gather them on every side, and bring them into their own land. And I will make them one nation in the land upon the mountains of Israel, and one king shall be king to them all, and they shall be no more two nations, neither shall they be divided into two kingdoms any more at all, neither shall they defile themselves any more with their idols nor with their detestable things, nor with any of their transgressions. But I will save them out of all their dwelling places, wherein they have sinned, and will cleanse them. So shall they be my people, and I will be their God. And David my servant shall be king over them, and they all shall have one shepherd. They shall also walk in my judgments, and observe my statutes, and do them. And they shall dwell in the land that I have given unto Jacob my servant, wherein your fathers have dwelt. And they shall dwell therein, even they and their children, and their children's children for ever. And my servant David shall be their prince for ever. The covenant of peace with them. It shall be an everlasting covenant with them. And I will place them and multiply them and will set my sanctuary in the midst of them for evermore. My tabernacle also shall be with them, yea, God, and they shall be my people, and the heathen shall know that I, the Lord, do sanctify Israel, when my sanctuary shall be in the midst of them for evermore. 44. Be the Lord my strength, which teacheth my hands to war, and my fingers to fight, my goodness, and my fortress, my high tower, and my deliverer, my shield, and he in whom I trust, who subdueth my people under me. Lord, what is man that thou takest knowledge of him, or the son of man that thou makest account of him? Man is like to vanity, his days are as a shadow that passeth away. Bow thy heavens, O Lord, and come down. Touch the mountains, and they shall smoke. Cast forth lightning, and scatter them. Shoot out thine arrows, and destroy them. Send thine hand from above. Rid me, and deliver me out of great waters, from the hand of strange children, whose mouth speaketh vanity, and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. I will sing a new song unto thee, O God, upon a psaltery, and an instrument of ten strings will I sing praises unto thee. It is he that giveth salvation unto kings, who delivereth David his servant from the hurtful sword. Rid me, and deliver me from the hand of strange children, whose mouth speaketh vanity, and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. That our sons may be as plants grown up in their youth, that our daughters may be as cornerstones, polished after the similitude of a palace, that our garners may be full, affording all manner of store, that our sheep may bring forth thousands and ten thousands in our streets, that our oxen may be strong to labor, that there be no breaking in nor going out, that there be no complaining in our streets. 
Happy is that people that is in such a case. Yea, happy is that people whose God is the Lord. Thou art a God that hidest thyself, O God of Israel, the Savior. They shall be ashamed and also confounded, all of them. They shall go to confusion together that are makers of idols. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation. Ye shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. For thus saith the Lord that created the heavens, God himself that formed the earth and made it, he hath established it, he created it not in vain, he formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord, and there is none else. I have not spoken in secret in a dark place of the earth. I said not unto the seed of Jacob, Seek ye me in vain. I, the Lord, speak righteousness. I declare things that are right. Assemble yourselves and come. Draw near together ye that are escaped of the nations. They have no knowledge that set up the wood of their graven image and pray unto a God that cannot save. Tell ye, and bring them near. Yea, let them take counsel together. Who hath declared this from ancient time? Who hath told it from that time? Have not I the Lord? And there is no God else beside me, a just God and a Savior. There is none beside me. Look unto me, and be ye saved, all the ends of the earth. For I am God, and there is none else. I have sworn by myself, the word is gone out of my mouth in righteousness, and shall not return, that unto me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall swear. Surely shall one say, In the Lord have I righteousness and strength, even to him shall men come and all that are incensed against him shall be ashamed. In the Lord shall all the seed of Israel be justified, and shall glory. the nails, and thrust my hand into his side, I will not believe. And after eight days, again his disciples were within, and Thomas with them. Jesus, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst, and said, Peace be unto you. Then saith he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side faithless, but believing. So then said unto him, And my God, said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. They that have not seen, and yet have believed. Signs truly did Jesus in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book, but these are written. Believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that believing ye might have life through his name. And God spake all these words, saying, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make plant, and shall eat them as common things. For there shall be a day that the watchman upon the mount Ephraim shall cry, Arise ye, and let us go up to Zion unto the Lord our God. For thus saith the Lord, Sing with gladness for Jacob, and shout among the chief of the nations, Publish ye, praise ye, and say, O Lord, save thy people, the remnant of Israel. Behold, I will bring them from the north country, and gather them from the coasts of the earth and with them the blind, and the lame, the woman with child, and her that travaileth with child together. A great company shall return thither. They shall come with weeping, and with supplications will I lead them. 
I will cause them to walk by the rivers of waters in a straight way, wherein they shall not stumble. For I am a father to Israel, and Ephraim is my firstborn. Hear the word of the Lord, O ye nations, and declare it in the isles afar off, and say, He that scattered Israel will gather him, and keep him as a shepherd doth his flock. For the Lord hath redeemed Jacob, and ransomed him from the hand of him that was stronger than he. Therefore they shall come, and sing in the height of Zion, and shall flow together to the goodness of the Lord, for wheat, and for wine, and for oil, and for the young of the flock, and of the herd. And their soul shall be as a watered garden. And they shall not sorrow any more at all. Then shall the virgin rejoice in the dance, both young men and old together. For I will turn their mourning into joy, and will comfort them, and make them rejoice from their sorrow. And I will satiate the soul of the priests with fatness, and my people shall be satisfied with my goodness, saith the Lord.